Congratulations. You have been selected to serve an AmeriCorps term of service with Rocky Mountain Youth Corps. We believe that you will find your time at RMYC to be challenging, educational, important, rewarding, and enjoyable. At this point, you have completed your interview, been selected, reviewed, and signed your offer letter. Next, we'll be onboarding you through our HR system, ADP. If you have served with RMYC in the past and have used ADP for your time card, all you need to do is sign into your ADP account. If you have difficulty accessing your ADP account, please contact ADP at 1-855-547-8508 and they will assist you. When you log into ADP, there will be a banner across the top of your homepage that says, you have important tasks to complete. Click on that banner and it will take you to your onboarding. If the banner is not there on your homepage, please contact your coordinator and we will contact ADP on your behalf to correct this issue. If you are new to RMYC, you will receive emails from ADP to get you registered and then start your onboarding. To start registering for ADP, you will enter your preferred method of contact, a mobile phone number for text or your email address to receive a passcode. Then to complete your registration, you will receive two emails from ADP, one from Security Services and one from ADP Do Not Reply. Security Services contains the link to join ADP and ADP Do Not Reply provides the directions for registering into the ADP system. When you open the link in the first email, you will need to follow the directions from the second email to complete the registration. To complete the registration, you will provide your first and last name and your associate ID provided in the second email. When you complete the registration, it will open the onboarding experience. This onboarding step is very important and you will need to complete all of the tasks in the onboarding experience prior to starting work. The first screen is simply a welcome screen, but also has an explanation of the major things that you'll that will be covered in your onboarding. First, you'll need to complete your profile, which includes your email address, ethnicity and race, your tax ID type, also known as your social security number for most people, your date of birth and gender. You may also complete your status information regarding disability, protected veteran and marital status. There is a space to write about yourself, but this is entirely optional. When this is complete, you'll click on the down arrow to advance to the next section. The next section is a list of five steps you will need to complete. Some steps will require you to provide information and then electronically sign. Others you will review and electron electronically sign, acknowledging you have received them and read them. And finally, there are those forms you'll need to download, review, complete, sign electronically, and then upload. The five areas you will complete are, one, form I-9, verifying that you are a US citizen, otherwise authorized to work in the US. Number two, tax withholding, where you will tell us how to withhold your taxes for you. Number three, payment options, this is where you will tell us how to pay you. You will need your account information from your bank to complete this. If you don't have a bank account, we strongly recommend that you establish a bank account. If you choose not to open a bank account, you can opt to get to be paid on a wisely, wisely pay card. Rocky Mountain Youth Corps does not issue paper checks for payroll. Number four, there are a total of 12 documents in step four. Six documents you will review and acknowledge by electronic signature that you have received and read. And five documents that are listed as read only documents. Four of these you will need to download and complete so that they can be uploaded in the next step. Five, there are five documents that will need to be uploaded after they are completed and signed. The first form is the I-9 citizenship form, and you must complete it prior to your first day of work. Click on the line for the I-9 form, and it will open the instructions for completing section one of your I-9. To complete the form, you will need to have 
your personal information, name, address, date of birth, social security number, and a form of work authorization for the US. You will affirm, which is an oath that you swear that you are a citizen or other person recognized as able to legally work in the US and that the documents you provide are valid. You will need, you will later need to provide RMYC staff with the original document, such as a passport or your driver's license, plus your social security card or birth certificate that will prove your citizenship. If you're unsure about what documents you need to provide, click on the link for a list of documents that you can use to prove your citizenship. Lastly, if someone helps you complete this form, you will need to enter their information. After you've completed the I-9 citizenship form, you'll have a chance to review the form before you electronically sign and submit the form. It is very important that the information you provide is accurate and complete. The next form is your W-4 form, known as your tax withholding form. Click on it to start completing this form. The next page that opens provides you with instructions on how to complete the W-4 tax withholding form. The best way to complete the form accurately is to download it and review and even print and complete the form outside of the ADP system. ADP and Rocky Mountain Youth Corps cannot provide you with advice on how to complete this form. Be sure to read the instructions that begin on page two of the W-4, as it is the best guidance you can receive for completing the form accurately. The system will then open a series of screens where you, where you will confirm your information and provide the information that you will have done on the hard copy. After you complete the federal tax withholding form, you'll complete the New Mexico form in a similar fashion but it will be based on the work you completed in the W-4. The next document you will complete is your payment options. To do this, you will need a bank account and the following information for that account. The bank's routing number, which is nine digits long. You can find the routing number on the bottom of a check from the account, which is the series of numbers that starts on the left. If you don't have a check or are using a different type of account, such as the savings account, you can get the routing number from your bank from a deposit slip or other documents from which your bank, such as an account card. If you cannot locate this or want to verify that you have the correct routing number, please contact your bank. Next, you will need to enter your account number. This can be found at the bottom of a check from your account and is the series of numbers and is to the right of the routing number and before the check number. If you do not have a bank account, you can choose to receive your pay on a Wisely Pay card. Please contact your coordinator for assistance with having this set up for you. Rocky Mountain Youth Corps does not issue paper checks. The next section is a series of six documents that you will need to review and sign electronically. If you're under the age of 18, some of these documents must also be signed by a parent or guardian and returned to Rocky Mountain Youth Corps. To gather the parental or guardian signature, you must download the document. It can then be signed physically and provided to RMYC to upload, or it can be signed electronically using Adobe Reader and emailed to RMYC to be uploaded. Regardless of your age, we strongly suggest you download the, the documents after you have signed them and retain them for your records and for future reference. The first document is your AmeriCorps service agreement. Read this closely prior to signing. This sets out the roles and limitations you are agreeing to as an AmeriCorps member, lists the education award amount that you will receive if you successfully complete your term of service. If you're under the age of 18, this form will have to be signed by a parent or guardian. Second is the Corps member handbook. This is your guide for all things about being a crew member at Rocky Mountain Youth Corps. This is an essential document that we encourage you to download and save for the future. This does not require the signature of a parent, a parent or guardian. The third document is the payroll schedule for the year. Our pay periods begin on a Saturday and end on the Friday two weeks later and are paid out the Friday following the end of the pay period. The schedule lists the start and end dates of the pay period and the payday for that pay period. For example, 
If the pay period starts on January 1st, it will end on January 14th and will be paid on January 21st. This does not require the signature of a parent or guardian. Fourth is the release form. By signing this document, you are allowing Rocky Mountain Youth Corps to use photos and video that may include images of you. You are agreeing to allow Rocky Mountain Youth Corps to conduct a criminal history background check. And you agree to participate in the collection of information and complete forms that are required for RMYC to secure funding and respond adequately, adequately to funding agencies. If you are under the age of 18, this form will have to be signed by a parent or guardian. The fifth document is Rocky Mountain Youth Corps' current COVID-19 protocols. Please read these carefully as the protocol set expectations for you as a part of RMYC. It explains that you will need to keep you, your crewmates, staff, and the community safe during this pandemic. Again, if you are under the age of 18, this document will need to be signed by a parent or guardian and return to RMYC for uploading to your personal file. Finally, we come to the sixth document, acknowledgement of risks and release of claims. This document shows that you are aware of the risks involved in conservation work and your release of RMYC from further liability and claims during your term of service. This document also requires a parent or guardian to countersign it. Please download, gather your parent or guardian signature and return to RMYC. The next five documents are listed as read only. Four of them need to be completed. While you must read these documents, you also must download them, complete the forms, and then upload them to your account. In this step, you'll download and complete the documents offline electronically. If you are under the age of 18, some of the, these documents will require the signature of a parent or guardian. To complete these documents, you will need to review each one and download them to your device. Once the form is downloaded, you will want to open them in Adobe Reader and complete the form. Once the form is complete, be sure to electronically sign it in Adobe Reader. Note that once you save the document with a signature applied, you will no longer be able to edit it. Make sure to review the document for accuracy before signing it. All of these documents are in Adobe PDF format. You will need Adobe Reader to complete and sign these documents. If you are unfamiliar with Adobe Reader or how to sign documents using the free Adobe Reader application, please see our video tutorial or refer to the sixth document on the list titled, How to Fill Out Your PDF Form. The first form is the AmeriCorps Trust Forbearance Request. This is an optional form. If you have student loans that are currently in repayment or will be in repayment during your term of service, this will allow you to defer those student loan payments while you are serving an AmeriCorps term. The second form is the National Trust Enrollment Form, Member Demographics. Please complete part one, part two, and part three. Please leave part four blank so that RMYC staff are able to complete that section. It is important to note that part two of this form is your signature. The signature needs to be valid and not just your name typed into the space provided. If you're unfamiliar with how to apply a signature to a PDF, please see our tutorial video on, on the how to fill out your PDF form, which is the last form on this list. Next on the list, you will see the New Mexico background check form. This is no longer required and your onboarding should not include it. So don't worry if you don't see it. The next form is the core member health insurance authorization form. RMYC offers health insurance to our members. If you already have health insurance, please indicate this on the form. Next is the confidential medical record. This is very important. Please download this and complete it accurately. This provides us with important information if you have an injury in the field. The last document is, as I mentioned before, a guide on how to complete a PDF offline to prepare for the last step, uploading your documents. There are five things 
we need you to upload. A copy of your photo ID and the four forms you completed earlier. To get a copy of your ID, it is easiest to use your mobile phone. Take a picture of the ID and then email it to yourself. Once you have all the documents completed and signed and a picture of your ID, you can begin to upload your documents. To upload, click on the name of the document in the list and it'll open a pop-up window. From here, you can drag and drop the file to the window or click select file and locate the form and click it to upload it. When all five of these are uploaded, you are done with your onboarding paperwork. However, you'll receive emails from three different places with things you will need to complete before your first day. Number one, My AmeriCorps. You will need to become an AmeriCorps member, so look for this email in the next day or two and complete the registration process. Number two, True Screen. This is one part of the background check you will need to complete. Look for this email and then follow the instructions to complete this step. Number three, field print. We will work with you to get an appointment to have your fingerprint scanned to perform the second part of your background check. Thank you for your time and attention. Let us know if you have any questions or need any help. Work safe, take pride, make a difference.